Hi there, Virgo. Okay, so we're on eclipses at the moment. Okay, so we've got the total eclipse. It's a, it's a full moon lunar eclipse, 15th, 16th. So it's very potent. Eclipses generally are potent and transformational. But right now it's in the sign of Scorpio, and Scorpio is the sign of, of transformation. It's in your area of communication. <clears throat> so you want to be mindful to... <clears throat> You know, speak from your heart, uh, say what you mean, say what you feel, you know, and mean it and come across with full integrity, even if you think it's not what the other person wants to hear, okay? Right now, it's about you expressing yourself in the way <clears throat> that you want to be heard. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's also a great time for creativity, and, and because Mercury, your ruling planet, is retrograde, it's the perfect time for planning, the perfect time for getting things together, sorting them out, making sure that you have a plan of action. So when Mercury goes forward, um, you're ready to put it into place. So start researching, start making your lists, start organizing, start dreaming. Um, in your relationship area, we've got Mars and Neptune connecting and <clears throat> this is unusual energy because Neptune's, <clears throat> you know, go with the flow and Mars is let's make a plan or let's get going. And so with these two in Pisces right opposite you in your relationship area, then Guess what? It, it's all of that, okay? But you want to take a step back. Don't rush forward. Don't rush into anything. Mercury's retrograde too. We've got this huge, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, eclipse happening, a total eclipse. So it's totally powerful. So you don't want to be making any rash decisions like right now, <clears throat> you know, wait until through the week a, a week a bit, okay, uh, and see how things, see how the land lies then, all right? Okay, so uh, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.